I've seen the show before. I just, I think this is much. I think it's a little bit too much. He doesn't even look like this. Well, how come we don't have a wardrobe department? That's no excuse. We'll find a wardrobe person. All right, no, we'll start now. All right. Hi, Lakeland School community. No, I don't do a southern accent. I'm putting this cat down, too. All right, Lakeland School community, this is your assistant superintendent, Mr. Novak Exotic, today in the spirit of Spirit Week. This is my animal. This is my pet cat. His name is Meow Meow. Unlike Carol, I take care of my pets. Um, today is Wednesday, April 8th, and here are your daily... All right, we'll do a little bit of uh, extended skate. All right, Lakeland School community, I'm going to take you on my big cat sanctuary tour. I have no idea how to turn my phone around. So we're going to walk around just like this. And you can see the way that I take care of my pets and my cats on my big farm. First of all, I want to cue you in to two of our favorite animals. This is Chase from Paw Patrol, Thanos. Then over here, we don't have too many of our animals caged up. This is one of the, the, the only cats that we have caged up. It's actually a dog. This is Sky. Sky gets a little frisky. And then last but not least, over here, we have Rubble is on a slot. Again, like I said before, we take care of our animals around here, unlike, unlike Carol. All right, I'm gonna walk back inside. I don't know how to pause this, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Can I take the hat off? Can I at least put that on the pocket side? So I just feel like I look ridiculous. All right. That was like the fourth time I had to film this because my neighbors kept on coming outside and staring at me. It's, it's very hard to explain what I'm doing at this point. All right, Lakeland School community, again, this is your assistant superintendent, Mr. Novak. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, and these are your daily announcements. This is your daily address. Number one, mentioned it yesterday, sent in an email, I think by this point, Everybody's kind of wrapped their minds around this. We've made two significant changes. Number one, we've decided to eliminate final exams this year. Regardless of when we come back, we've eliminated final exams. Number two, every Friday moving forward that we um, participate in virtual learning will now be a Lancer Friday. That leads me into number two. Regarding Lancer Fridays, I've gotten a few questions, and they're great questions. Here's the deal regarding Lancer Fridays. Yes, we are taking attendance during, this, during the Lancer Fridays. It's not a day off, and it shouldn't be um, looked at as a day off. Yes, it's true. You're not getting any new work whatsoever. However, you are expected to be working on either things that you need to do to catch up or things that you might need to do to get ahead. Here's what it comes down to with attendance. As long as at some point during the day you log into your email, log into Google Classroom, and or log into teacher pages, you're fine. That's fine. That's how we're taking attendance right now anyway. So as long as on those Fridays you check your email, you send an email to a teacher, um, you don't have to check in with anybody. You log into a Google Classroom. You log into teacher pages. Again, just to make sure that you've completed everything you have to complete for that time, you're fine. You're good for attendance for that day. But again, it's not a day off. You should be working. The reason we're doing this is to try and, again, listening to the people within our community and our teachers and our staff members to give you guys an opportunity to really get your feet underneath you. Um, number three, I sent you guys an email and your parents an email last evening. Uh, there was a little bit of confusion out there. I'm going to try to unpack it the best that I possibly can. Yesterday, Governor Murphy signed um, uh, a few new executive orders, but one really caused uh, a lot of anxiety. It was Executive Order 119. Um, basically, a lot of it can be attributed to, um, surprise, surprise, misinformation on social media. Um, almost immediately after this came through, my phone started to blow up um, with, uh, with, with phone calls from concerned parents, students, and teachers, and I totally get it. So yesterday, um, as he was announcing the executive orders, Governor Murphy did say that school was closed indefinitely. Understand that the word indefinitely does not mean permanently. Schools had already been closed indefinitely. The reason they had been closed indefinitely is because at this point we don't have a return date. If he would have said canceled, like we've talked about before in cancel culture, if he would have talked about school being canceled for the rest of the year, then, then I would have been concerned about it. However... Schools are already closed indefinitely just because we don't have an idea of when they are going to reopen. Now, again, Governor Murphy did state, and I've mentioned this multiple times, that the decision to reopen schools ultimately rests with him and him alone. 
So it has nothing to do with our Board of Education, our superintendent, really, or anybody else. Governor Murphy still plans on reassessing the situation on April 17th. However, since Executive Order 119 does extend the public health emergency in New Jersey by 30 days, we don't necessarily anticipate reopening on April 20th. So that's kind of where we are right now. This is a very long way of me saying this. As of today, Wednesday, April 8th, school is not canceled for the rest of the year. We are going to participate in virtual learning for as long as we are going to participate in virtual learning as per the governor of New Jersey. And that's essentially where we are. Uh, number four, regarding attendance, virtual learning is the, in attendance code right now in real time that's being entered every single day that you participate in virtual learning. There's nothing you need to do. Present is the same as virtual learning. Both of those things are exactly the same. So don't freak out over your attendance at this point. If you are doing everything you need to, if you're not logging in and you're being marked absent, you're being marked absent for, for a reason. Number five, virtual spirit week. Today, April 8th is pet day. I don't have a pet, but this is meow meow. And you saw my big cats outside. Uh, tomorrow is unicorn day. Wear your bright colors. Send your pictures to lrhs.studentcouncil on Instagram. Tomorrow, April 9th marks the end of quarter three. If you have any questions about where you stand, please contact your teachers. Focus on the next two days before spring break. Our upcoming schedule is pre pretty simple at this point. Thursday, April 9th is an A day. And then Friday, spring break, we're not going to be given any spring break, any, any work over spring break. Uh, number nine, please make sure you check your Lakeland email address as often. Number 10, uh, AP students should certainly check their email address because Mr. Ross did send you guys updates about the AP exams. 11, talk about emergent. My hashtag your community school challenge is this. I understand that there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding the end of the year. And, and there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a ton of it, especially after a lot of misinformation that happened yesterday. Essentially, what ended up happening was um, after Governor Murphy talked about schools being closed indefinitely. Again, that doesn't mean permanently, nor are they canceled. It just means that we don't have, they're already closed indefinitely. We don't have a reopening date at this point. We eventually will, we hope, but we don't have one at this point. Um, what ended up happening was uh, uh, um, an online newspaper um, unfortunately looked at the word indefinitely and said school's canceled for the rest of the year. That's not the case. Almost immediately, they fixed the headline, they offered a retraction, however, that got screenshotted and sent around all of social media and it caused a ton of, a ton of anxiety. So my hashtag, your community school challenge is this. It's not to like parse through fake news or anything like that. Only worry about things at this point that you can control. And the one thing, the one thing that you can control right now is today is Wednesday, April 8th. Tomorrow is Thursday, April 9th. It's the end of quarter three. Your teachers, staff have been exceptionally accommodating at this point. Get everything you need to get in before the end of the quarter so you put yourself in a position to be successful. And that's it. We are only a few hundred followers away on YouTube and we are only a few hundred followers away on Instagram. If we get to a thousand mark before the end of the day tomorrow at 11.59, I will be dyeing this hair a color of your choosing. So be safe, guys. Um, miss you very much. Talk to you soon.